Okay, so this video is going to make no sense whatsoever, but, and it might be longer than I think, but I'm going to make a video comparing a few of these red and blue pencils, um, just because I have a diff few different brands um, that I use and don't use, and um, wanted to use them and go through them. I'm going to use three different papers, so um, this one's like 80 pound, 140 pound, and um, 60 pound. So, um, yeah, get right into it. So, I'm going to just compare the uh, how they work so far, like the color quality, vividness, and maybe try blending them out and just seeing how they work with these two. And maybe actually even some um, Gamsol. So, I'm going to start off with some of these. So, I sharpen these and this one right here, the Eagle Verithin, was a little harder to sharpen in a way. Uh, and it, I used this sharpener here, and so it has different um, sharpen points, and I really had to use the graphite, so. But it's hard lead, so it came out to a real sharp point. Look at that. Kind of sharp. I could have sharpened it more. Anyway, so let me just kind of damage that there. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the Prisma color. Some of them I didn't sharpen like this just because I didn't think I needed to, but we'll see. See how it turns out. So this is just sketch paper, Strathmore sketch paper. And this is um, 60 pounds. And Drops pretty, pretty dark lines as well. It's supposed to be like an apple, but it looks like a horrible tooth. So I just want to. I'm not. I'm just trying to. Pick, not really plan anything. Let's see if I can blend this out somehow, maybe. And see if any of this is somehow water soluble. These, they won't be. Okay. I'm in order. Milan, now all these are round and some of these are in different color order. Red, blue, uh, blue, red, red, blue, blue, red. So it is what it is. Um, I really like these because the box, I could get a box of this for pretty cheap at Hobby Lobby in Texas, but um, I don't. Um, I don't know if they sell these up there anymore, but they have a triangle shape. And I write like this, which is a triangle shape. So, it's really well.
You know, I'm actually realizing they can blend out pretty smoothly by themselves. Or this one does. It's just it's very waxy, that's why. Which is why I really like it. Um And do a good job of blending this. These have a great, these blend amazingly. All the red blue pencils, just because they're, um, just because they're waxy, you know, like the pigment itself, red and blue. And usually for these, all, all of them. <laughs> okay, here's the eagle, very thin. This one writes a little tougher, it gets scratchier than the other two. Kind of just broke the tip there, there it goes. <clears throat> but if you notice, the colors are different blues, different reds. But I mean, they're very good, each of them, for their own reasons. Like, I really like this. Um, Okay, this one has a thicker diameter. I didn't like leave a lot of room at all for these. But that allows for better control. Fast lay down, this is real fast lay down. Pressing down, look at that. It's deep, very, very waxy. I don't have a lot of these postal pen pencils. I used to, and I think I actually, I don't know what happened to them. <clears throat> I probably lost them or gave them away. Um, okay, I'm just trying to... But yeah, they're all, because they're red and blue pencils, they all blend really, really, really easily. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, Okay, very chalky, waxy.
right, this video's gonna take longer than I thought, but oh well. Okay. I'm just gonna move faster now. Okay. So, <coughs> now that that's done, I'm just going to see how this works. Funding. That looks good. I'm gonna blend these together, not really trying, but the point is just seeing how that blends. Blends. So, yeah. It does the job. Right now the Milan. Also blends really easily. And <clears throat> I'm just gonna clean clean this blender really quick. Okay. It also blends <clears throat> easily. Also blends really easily, really easily. And so your thin probably blends the best here. It feels better than it does at least. But it might look different. Okay. And uh, no, this one is postal. Okay, I got a little bit of contamination, but that's okay. You're just gonna blend that in anyway. Okay, so it blends out really, really easily as well. Might be soluble, water soluble. All right, and uh, also. That's pretty easily. Okay, so they blend pretty easily. Looks great with the marker as well. OK, 
है Really easily. <clears throat> Just the eco very thin. Kind of comes to life a little bit like that with the color blender, alcohol color blender, hair and dosh. So pops as well. Okay. So. What I'll do now is I'm just gonna see if any of these are soluble. It looks like the meal on might be. So I'm gonna add some water to this Q-tip. Try again. Seems to be <coughs> pretty soluble. And the Prisma color, okay, the Milan. So it seems to wipe away pretty easily. The Eagle, so it might be the paper itself, but I actually thought this would be more water soluble, but it's not. Carandosh completely soluble. Okay. So, I'll try again on better paper, different paper. So the eagle very thin. Still pretty sharp. Since these are always being marked, people are using these pencils to mark. It's good that the uh, tips of these last so long and lay down really fast. And most people like these for sketching, which is useful for the same reasons. So you can lay down color really fast. Okay, for these, I wasn't sure if they were actually water soluble. It tripped me, I couldn't tell. So I wanna find out, just have a brush with water. And I'm just gonna try it over these darker ones. So with scrubbing, it seems like I can move some of it around 
Not a lot, but enough to manipulate some of the color around. Interesting. It might just be the pigment because it looks like it does it more with the red than the blue. Nonetheless, the blue still moves around on the Prismacolor very thin as well. It'll dry a little lighter than the red. Alright, we'll try the Milan next. And the Milan also is water soluble. I actually used these for years and didn't really use it for water soluble. Uh, the Milan ones actually, but use a Karen Dodge for knowing knowing that it's water soluble. Um, because after Milan I ended up getting Prisma colors using those a lot. And even though it's not as vibrant, um, the Prisma color doesn't wear out as much. And also, I like kind of liked the type of red that it gave. And I stopped using it as much as the Milan, so I just I didn't get tired of it either. But I do miss the shape of the Milan. And um, yeah, I used to not think it was as vibrant as the others, but it seems to be just as vibrant. All right, just the ego very thin. You go very thin, doesn't move much at all. Yeah, I think this color here that's moved around is from um, the Milan still. So like, like if we move it, let's see it'll clear. Interesting. Okay. Pulse still doesn't really move a lot at all. Karen Dash, of course. So it's not like any of these are useful. For blending out except for the Karen Dosh. Whoops, that wasn't, that wasn't that much in frame. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm trying to blend this out even more and see. So maybe with layers, a couple of layers. The Milan can blend out okay. I'll have to play with that and find out, but it, it does move around with water. I don't think it's supposed to be a good feature of it, you know, like it's just, that's just how the pigment is on it, but it's all good. But the Karen Dosh is good, not just for water washes, but just as a sketching too, like I used it to sketch picture and it came out really fast, uh, or laid down really fast, it came out okay. I have a gamsol in here and I want to try to blend using gamsol. and hope that works. If I have enough in these cotton balls, have some more. <clears throat> okay, let's see if these move around. Yeah. So with Gamsol they blend out easily too, but that's just because it's Gamsol. No surprise there, but that's just what it looks like when they just 
have a little bit of a gap saw with them. It's not a very good representation of the color mix or anything like that, but here's the color blender. some of these. They all blend with the uh, color blender really good. So that's good. The alcohol marker too. These are the reds. I think I had enough of the red on the Milan, but it doesn't seem to work that well on the Milan as much as the, uh, the Prismacolor, but it is Prismacolor, but they really do seem to work really well. Look at that. I mean, it's amazing together. It's almost like a watercolor pencil with this, like, dry work, so that's good. I'm definitely try it on the other paper. Ego Veritin's good. Blends out really nicely too. Not as nice, but more smooth looking. Well, still the same. Doesn't feel as good. Doesn't blend as good, but the pigment is real strong on them on it. And the Karen Dosh is gonna blend out easily just cause of the uh, whatever's in it um, seems to blend out even more though with water still so Prisma color blends out really good with this so let's try it let's actually try it more this tone paper and really compare the vibrancy of the colors as well. So, Prisma color very thin. Yeah, it's the worst apple I've ever. Well, so I'm gonna use the color blender and blend this out. Bear with me. I've been up since three in the morning, and it's over. T it's past ten. Got to charge all my stuff because the power is going to go out here in Oregon to prevent fires soon. So, there's that. Alright. So, I'm just going to draw some stuff to mix. Blend out that color with the uh, color blender.
and with the color blender pencil. Because other than that, um, they're going to be just fine for writing down fast. They feel the same a little bit, well, for the most part. <clears throat> so we're just going to compare vibrancy pretty much. And I shouldn't use, put use of blue on top. Or, oh well. Okay, halfway done with these, close enough, not leave enough room. These are some organic apples on the shaping and shit. But I just want to try to use the markers and I'm already at 30 over 30 minutes. I always do this. This is supposed to be like 10 minute max, I thought. So I'm really, I really need to work on my timing for this stuff. Maybe I should plan this out better, but I don't know. Then it doesn't, I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to think too hard. I'm just, just trying to share experience with this, with these um things that I have. Well, before I give them away or whatever, break them, lose them, use them. Wow. Look at, the, look at the end of this apple. It's crazy. It's insane. And this is not an organic apple. It's definitely a hybrid. <coughs> Recessive gene. Okay, so. And Karen Dodge. Soon. Yeah, and starting to poke me. <laughs> not good, not good at all. Okay, good, good, good. Don't really need to compare the Karen Dosh because it's pretty amazing. And it's like more water soluble. Just feel like it's a little bit different, but. Definitely still is part of this thing. Okay. I have to keep caps on this one because it's water soluble that way. 
I mean, it has holes to breathe, but that way it doesn't get exposed to too much water. You could just vent it out. Okay. We're gonna blend the circles. I don't think I'm blending that out pretty good. Kind of bringing that glue all the way around. Too, too, too close, but oh well. There we go, I'm just moving this out like this. Gonna even that out a little bit. Oops. Um. Okay. So the color blender works really well on all these red blue pencils so if you ever want something that's just very simple I always just carry red blue pencil with me in my pocket my Caran d'Ache I don't carry a blender but maybe, maybe I should um, I do carry a water brush because it's water soluble so same difference I guess I just like the brush more because I can use it on it on the on the tops of the uh, pencil without having to put the pencil to paper sometimes and it just gives me like smooth colors and stuff that it just look different um, than using a watercolor pencil um, by itself. So, um, yeah, some of these blend a little bit better than the others, but they all blend really nice when with the Prismacolor pencil for sure. I think I could have probably did a better job with this one up here. Yeah, for sure. <sighs> there we go. Can't really half ass this kind of stuff, I guess. This takes time. Anyway.
Yeah, the only one that didn't come out so great is this one, but it's probably my fault. But... Y'all look like planet. Okay. So, I'm gonna use this. So, work is pretty dirty. So, whoops. But we're gonna try to blend this. I'm gonna try to blend this out. Let's try this one. So unfortunately, like the Milan, like I said, is probably the best feeling one for me, but it's like the worst for using with any other medium or anything else. It's great just by itself, but just for drawing, it's not good for, it doesn't blend well. Um, it's cheap and it used to be easy to find. I used to just have a whole box of them, so they still have that. Um, I would definitely get the box and have just, if you need to carry one, just one pencil, you just carry a Milan pencil. Otherwise, I would get any other one because they all blend really well. Okay, so definitely the the um, I'd say the best ones that work well are gonna be the Prismacolor for sure, the Caran d'Ache, and then the Eagle Very Thin, and the probably the Postal and the Milan are tied. I would say Milan and then Postal, but Postal works better with stuff. Milan works better without. out, see if you can. I'm mixing these colors pretty grossly, but I'm just trying to see the gradient of the, um, of how the um, marker blends these out. So yeah, that's just how the red and blue markers work.
pretty easy, pretty smooth, very waxy. They're made to just work really fast. And you can uh, draw really fast with them. So. You can choose one and you're looking for a water soluble one. I would definitely choose the Caran d'Ache. And if you're looking for a very vibrant one, I'd still choose Caran d'Ache. And then wet media Caran d'Ache, dry media, Prismacolor, color blender, Prismacolor. Alcohol color blender, prism color. Alright, these are all the red and blue pencils I have. Thanks for watching.